All right, guys, welcome aboard. We're going to continue our uh, fun flying with the Aero Basque DA62 twin engine uh, turbo diesel airplane here. And uh, I thought we'd go do a little bit of sightseeing someplace a little bit different. I downloaded scenery for uh, most of the Hawaiian islands. And uh, if you haven't heard, uh, the big island of Hawaii down in the uh, southeast corner. Uh, they're having a volcanic eruption, and a volcano has started to erupt, fissures have started spouting out, popping out, all that kind of stuff, and uh, covered up uh, at least like a thousand homes or something like that. So we're going to go take a look. Now, obviously on the scenery here, we don't have the lava, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look and see what, the, what it looks like there, what it looked like before the lava covered everything. So uh, let's jump in the airplane here, and... Uh, We'll uh, we'll get started. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you where we're actually gonna fly. So let's uh, let me turn on my other screen capture here. So here's the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna start out at the Big Island here. We're gonna stay on the Big Island. We're gonna start out in uh, Hilo, which is right here. Don't mind the weather on here. We're gonna set it for uh, just some high cirrus so we can uh, get a good view of everything. Uh, I thought we we're gonna take off from Hilo. We'll head down south over here. And this location here is where the uh, the lava is flowing over here. See this little village, right, or village, uh, this little like uh, street section here. It's a street pattern. Half of that's pretty much covered in lava. Um, or at least, uh, yeah, I think that's the one there. But uh, also down here, this little bay, we can't zoom in anymore, I think, yeah. Uh, this, there's like a little bay here. Uh, I forgot what it's called, Kapoho, I think. Um, that entirely got covered because the lava started spewing from a fissure someplace down here um, and it kind of made its way all the way around and covered up a whole bunch of homes and everything over in this area. Also, excuse my uh, raspy voice. I've got allergies. It's allergy season here in uh, Southern California. So maybe the, uh, maybe the humid air down in uh, Hawaii will help it out. But that's where we're going to fly to. We're going we're gonna to take off from Hilo, come down here, take a look at uh, you know some of the locations that have been covered up with lava and then I thought we would fly uh, over to uh, this big volcano Ma Mauna Loa hope I said that right and then uh, and then we'll land over here I don't even know Onizuka Kona airport here and uh, we'll just do a landing over there quick nice flight we'll take a look at the scenery like I said I downloaded uh, the uh, Hawaiian scenery project scenery. Basically, it's all ortho, or ortho 4XP, so it looks real nice. Um, and we'll take a look at that. Let me uh, just show you. This is a map here, so we're looking at that corner again of the of the island, right? Hilo's over here, and we're gonna fly right down here. And this is a map that uh, that is put out. It's uh, got all of these fissures that have erupted, and this is all the lava flow that has pretty much covered over the last like four weeks or so and we're gonna fly over to you can see all these homes here all gone all covered in lava this is a bay here with tidal pools and things like that that's all covered in lava now and uh, if we take a look at the fissures here this is all of these started popping out and uh, some of them flowed down and started pouring into the ocean here the big one right now is this one here, number eight. Um, that's the one that's uh, currently flowing out, and it's kind of following this stream all the way around. It goes, that's a, I, I think somebody said it was like about eight miles or so, uh, and it's going into the ocean over here after covering everything up. So let's go take a look, and we'll see what the, what it looked like before the lava. We'll hop into the airplane here, get started up. Uh, we're going to be a VFR flight, so. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and get our fuel on here. I like to turn off our wind noise here. I do that right there. All right, so we got our fuel is on. Close that up. And we're going to turn our electrical on. And we'll just get started right up away here. Put our position lights on, fuel pump on. Uh, right and left. And we'll get started up now. I know that's kind of loud here because we've got our doors and everything opened up, so we'll go ahead and close that. There we go. That's a little bit better. 
Alright, doors are closed and uh, engines are started. We can put our alternators on, get our fuel pumps off, get our uh, avionics on, and I think we're all set here. Just put our, we're going to be do doing an immediate departure, so we'll put our strobes on right now. Come down here and set our trim tab. Drop the flaps after we uh, taxi out to the runway over here. So, let's uh, tap the brakes and get on out of here. It's uh, just after sunrise here in uh, Hawaii. I think it's like uh, right around 7.30 or something in the morning. And like I said, I've got the uh, weather set for uh, just some high cirrus so we can get uh, good views of everything that we're going to be looking at. I come right over here to the end of the runway. Uh, a long taxi. And we'll landing lights on. Flaps for takeoff. Tab is already set. Just stop over here, do a quick run up on the engines. This airplane has a nice bouncy uh, front gear. And I'm just going to hold my brakes, do the run up on the uh, right hand side. left-hand side. Okay, we're ready to take off. Let's get out of here. We can turn down the volume just a tad. I think it's a little loud. You never know. If you watch some of my other streams uh, or videos, uh, you know I'm always fighting with the volume there. And speaking of, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell button to get notified when I post new videos. Right now, like I said, I'm doing uh, videos with this uh, Aerobasque uh, D862 uh, twin. So uh, let's go. Let's go see what's uh, what's happening in Hawaii here. Power up. Rotation speed is uh, 79, and there's 70, and 79, rotate on up, and positive rate, gear up, take a look back behind us, goodbye helo. Volume down just a little bit more. Trimmed up a little bit. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, which I always do. I have to set my uh, water, so let's put our water in there. Yeah, we're doing a really slow, uh, slow departure here. We'll go flaps up. Let's get sped up. Start getting our uh, speed uh, bumped up here. Get retrimmed. So we are basically going to be heading right over there. And, uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, take a look at the bay there. Kaho, Kapoho Bay. They got uh, covered up with lava. And then we're going to head out that direction, off to our uh, right. We're going to head out towards uh, towards this uh, Mauna Loa, and we'll land at the uh, Mona Zumba Airport there on the other side. Let's go ahead and power back about 90%. 
get our engine instruments out of the uh, yellow arc there. In fact, you know what I'm doing? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna bump our time up a little bit just so we get better lighting here. Let's see if we're going the right way. No. I'm changing our time, you can see the shadows changing there. Get a little bit better view of the uh, the scenery here, since that's what we're here to look at. Got a sailboat or something out there. So we're just going to follow the coastline, and uh, I'll point out some of the uh, the features, some of the neighborhoods um, that have been covered up with lava. screen here. I'm going to bring up the other screen to show you a few uh, pictures of it. So there you go. And the lava is pouring out of the fissure up here. Blowing. And this is a, this is a couple days ago. Uh, this is before it really swallowed up uh, some of the uh, some of the other uh, you know uh, housing developments. Crazy. I wish we could get some uh, scenery for lava, <laughs> you know. I'm sure somebody has made it, um, but I haven't found any yet. Alright, so this, this little settlement here is all safe. Uh, the lava is actually flowing from fissures right out through where my cursor is right there. So it's flowed all the way down here and covered up the bay right there. Now you see this lava flow here, that's that's an older one. That's from like 1955 um, that flowed there before. They've had a, you know, a number of uh, eruptions, I guess you could say. 55, I guess, was a big one. 1960 was another one. Um, and then uh, a few more before that, 19, I guess in the 80s and 90s, different flows have uh, erupted. But apparently this particular volcano that's kind of active this time around has been erupting since like the mid 80s or something like that. And uh, unfortunately, just in the past, uh, like I said, four weeks or so, uh, it's uh, started to erupt out of uh, this neighborhood that we see right over here, and we're going to take a closer look at that. But pretty much half of this neighborhood with where my cursor is right there is gone, covered in lava. Let's pop in the plane here. Let's go ahead and power back a little bit. Kind of level off here. Get retrimmed. Right, this might be a little bit loud there. Yeah, so all of this is gone, or not all of it, but like half of this, uh, half of this development right here is covered in lava. This is where all the fissures actually started erupting, just off to the, uh, the south side there, and then right through all of these. And lava started flowing back down towards the ocean this way, and then kind of flowed down around here. You can see this little crater right here, uh, that's from some other eruption. It's actually flowed all the way through here and covered this entire bay kind of on either side of this and covered all of the homes here, um, 
covered the, uh, like I said, the Coho Bay right here, which uh, had a lot of vacation properties and stuff like that. I counted, and there's roughly about 100 homes just in this side right here on the south side that uh, got covered up with lava. And, uh, go on Google or YouTube. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a couple guys that are local that have been uh, documenting it on YouTube. So if you do a search, you'll, you'll find them. And it's amazing. This whole bay here, I guess there's tide pools um, all on this side here. And then this little bay with vacation properties, you know, for like snorkeling and all that stuff. The lava has actually covered all of this and extended out uh, just past a mile from, uh, I guess, the shoreline here all the way out. Covered the bay, covered all these homes. All of this stuff down here is gone. This is all covered in lava. All these homes right here, all the tide pools right here are all covered in lava now. Now if we took a look take a look back here, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna pause and pop out of the airplane so we can get a good eye a good view of this. So uh, the fissures that we saw kind of started erupting along a line right through here. Pretty much half of this is gone, covered in lava. The lava's kind of flowed down around this way, uh, flowed all down here. There we are. Here's the here's the old lava from 1955, I think. Um, and here's that crater we were looking at. There's actually a lake right here. Um, and if you look on YouTube, there's a few videos the lava kind of poured back around and back into this way and pretty much just evaporated this entire lake. Uh, came back around this way, uh, covered all of this, covered all this in lava. Pretty sad. I mean, obviously a lot of people lost their homes, vacation properties. All right, so let's scoot back around this way. And uh, the interesting thing about uh, about this eruption, because I've kind of been following it since it started, uh, just following it's following. There's a there's at least one or two guys on YouTube and Facebook uh, that are local that have, like I said, have been documenting it, um, doing like daily videos and stuff like that. Um, but the interesting thing is that uh, the USGS uh, scientists are saying that uh, they have no clue when this thing is going to stop. So this could be, they, the other day I think they said it could go on for years and even decades. <laughs> Which is pretty wild. But uh, like I said, the lava flows out over here this way have been active since the 80s. Um, so yeah, they've been going for decades and now uh, these new ones right through the right through this uh, area have popped up and are now going to be flowing, going to be going. Let's see, can we take a look at the, uh, let me bring it up the map again here with the lava flow. So there's the bay, see right there, all that red, that's all covered in lava now. So that's the bay we just flew over and now we're heading out this way uh, towards the towards these flows here. And here's uh, here's that uh, here's that village. We're kind of almost right over the top of it, over the end, but you can see that this whole area is now covered in lava. And actually the volcano itself is, uh, I believe this guy right here. Yeah. But ooh, ooh, crater is that the one? No, that's not the one. Oh, no, it's like a but here. This is all earthquakes. Um, so the actual vol volcano is right here, and it doesn't look like this anymore. Um, it kind of filled up with lava and then drained out, and then a lot, al almost all this stuff collapsed back down into the uh, volcano. And the, like I said, the lava isn't pouring out of here. 
kind of drained out of here underground and then uh, started popping up over in this area. So we're going to fly over to that volcano and then we're going to fly over Mauna Loa and, uh, and head for Onizuka Airport now. So I'm going to give it a little bit of gas here because we're going to start doing a little bit of a climb. You can see the uh, black lava flows from uh, the prior eruptions that were still ongoing, as, as far as I could tell. Yep, this is where all that lava is. Crazy. Alright, let's take a look at our map here. Let's zoom out a bit. Alright, and we're going right there. P-H-K-O. I'm not going to attempt to say the names other than what I saw in there. Onizuka, whatever it is. Uh, but we're going to fly over Mauna Loa, the big volcano right here. We're going to take a look at that. We'll keep an eye on our uh, temperatures here since I'm going to power up because we do got to get up this uh, volcano is about 12,000 feet I think or something on a lower 12 14 I think we can clear it at 14 now I know the project here has uh, the project that did the scenery which basically they took uh, you know ortho 4 XP scenery and they and they modified it and cleaned it up and did a whole bunch of stuff like that they do have a pay version this is a free version I think the pay version does have some lava, um, you know, spouting up in uh, different locations. I'm not sure. I could be wrong on that. Don't 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 quote me on that. And so we're basically going to head up this way. We're going to head right over the crater. This is the the crater down here that. Uh, is the one that kind of filled up with lava and then started draining out, draining underground. Let's take a closer look here. Yeah, so this is the actual volcano. We're going to fly right over this. Um, it, unfortunately, look online, it doesn't look like this anymore. Uh, it like literally collapsed down into itself. And then we'll hop over to, uh, we'll hop over to our airport on the other side of the island here. start doing our climb. Just coming up to it. I'm trying to, you know, these Hawaiian uh, names are a little, a little funky on me. So uh, I, I don't want to butcher the uh, the actual names of the volcano here. Bring up the uh, map over here just to show you, or at least Google Maps. So here's uh, here's that map, um, and here's the volcano. So we're, we're going to be flying right over to this. This is interesting because this is pretty much what it looked like uh, 
like four weeks ago. So um, this thing filled up with lava. It overflowed a little bit, and then all the lava drained out of here. And that's when the other fissures uh, down to the east started popping up, covering everything. But then lots of earthquakes here, and pretty much all of this, all the way out, all of this has all collapsed. All of this stuff has collapsed down into the volcano. So let's take let's take a look out uh, out front here because we are coming up to it. Yeah, there you go. So this this is the larger volcano. Okay, I guess they would are caldera, whatever you want to call it. And then you had this one here, and then you had a little tiny one that we were looking at over here. Well, that little one is what filled up and drained, and then this whole thing started collapsing, and then pretty much a whole bunch of this stuff all around here started collapsing into it. I think mainly on this side here, there's still a little bit of stuff here, but a lot of this has all collapsed down into this, uh, this volcano. Pretty wild. And uh, I think USGS still has a, uh, they put up a webcam because they've got a couple of, uh, you know, they have a little research station. I think, I think that's it right there. Um, and you know, the, you, you could normally go up here and, uh, you know, view the lava down here and stuff like that, but uh, not anymore. It's all closed off. And like I said, most of it has collapsed down into a big giant open volcano now that's kind of filled in with all the rubble. And, uh, but I was going to say, they have a uh, webcam set up, and they're streaming it live on uh, YouTube. So if you, if you look up uh, USGS Volcano or something on YouTube, you will, uh, you will find it if they're, uh, if they're still stream streaming it, if it hasn't uh, blown apart. And we're climbing up here to get uh, over the top of Mauna Loa. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna increase our power to 100% here. Let's try to keep ourselves going. Get on up over the top of this. Keep an eye on our uh, oil temperature, coolant temperature. Make sure we don't uh, overheat it. You can see all the different uh, times this thing has erupted, all these different flows coming down the slope of the volcano. Off, so let's do that right now. Okay, this might be a little loud. I'm going to go outside. Take a look around. So just coming up to uh, 12,000 feet, still got to climb. So I'm not sure what the actual elevation is on there, let's take a look at the... Uh, let me take a look, I'll bring this up as soon as I clean it up here, let me get rid of the uh, weather here. Alright, here we go, so we're kind of climbing up this way. And yeah, this is uh, Kilauea, I guess is the one that's uh, that we were flying over, and we're heading for Mauna Loa. Just kind of climbing up right about there someplace. Uh, this says 13,000 something feet, so 
Yeah, so just about 14. We're, we're actually gonna, not going to go right over the top. We'll try to scoot over to the side. We'll get a good look inside of it, though, on our way to Kona, or a.k.a. Onazuka Kona International. Hilo off to our uh, oh, 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock. That's where we kind of went down that way. Alright, looks like our oil temperature is starting to get up there. Still in the green, but it's inching up. Let's go ahead and try to get on up. Well, we only need a few more thousand feet, so I'm going to go ahead and do a Trade some airspeed for uh, altitude here, really quick. Got about a thousand feet to go to clear the very top of the volcano there. It's a straight shot down the volcano, all the way down to sea level. Pretty interesting how high these volcanoes are. I guess that one's a little bit higher, not sure what that one's called. more hundred feet we'll clear the very top what the heck we'll just keep on going up and uh, we'll go into we'll do a flyover of the actual uh, the peak there whatever you want to call it let's see our uh, oil temperature is starting to get up there We're good for clearing it here. So let's let's start speeding up. I'll drop let the nose drop down a bit here. Now, as far as I know, I think this uh, I, th I think this volcano is still active, uh, meaning there there is lava to be seen. If you go to the very top, I might be wrong on that, but uh, as far as I can tell from what I've seen online. So I guess there has not been uh, any recent, you know, lava flows out of this that, that, that I can tell just from, uh, just from uh, you know, watching the other one, watching the news and watching the accounts here. Nice view as we get up to the very top here. There we are. Let's just pop outside here and take a look. So yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's any lava to be seen here, or maybe there's just some you know steam kind of thing coming out uh, in uh, current real life. But there is the top of Mauna Loa, and we can now go ahead and throttle back before we burn our engines out. In fact, I'm going to go to about 85%, start lowering the nose, and we're going to dive down for our airport. What do we make it up to? Just over 15,000 feet. So it looks like our airport is on the other side of this volcano, whichever one that is. After watching uh, all of the lava and volcanic activity coverage, I 
really didn't know that, but, uh, you know, the Hawaiian Islands here, or at least this one, Hawaii, this is the big island, is actually made up, I think, of, like they said, five different volcanoes, which Mauna Loa, that's a big one we just flew over. There's this one over here. There's another one down here. Uh, there's whatever that one is called. So, interesting stuff. All right, so it looks like our airport is just off to the side. Just fly right by this one. Looks like it got darker in here, or is it just me? changing the time here a little bit. Maybe we just got some of that uh, shadow on the cirrus. Where's my time? Am I going up or down? Nope, I'm going the wrong way. All right, here we bring the sun up as we descend down. Get it up to about noon. There we go. Just about noon time. So I have not flown into this airport before, so uh, let's see what it looks like. There it is right there. I think we'll just make uh, the base base leg to uh, final. Really got to start getting down. Power back a little bit. So real nice scenery, pretty stark. Uh, like I said, I do have the uh, scenery for uh, most of the islands here, uh, all the way up to, uh, you know, Honolulu. And uh, I'm going to be doing a few flights, I think, in the Zebo. I'll do some flights, uh, you know, short hops between the different islands here. Coming out of 10,000 feet. You can see what a steep slope that is, and there's all these little craters and things that you can see if uh, you go VFR flying around the all around the island. You'll see all sorts of them. Again, we're only taking a look at like half of the island here, not even. There we go. All of a sudden it's sunny again. We must have been in, in uh, some uh, cirrus shade. Landing light on. Even though we're still at uh, 7,800 feet. We're descending at uh, 2,800 feet per minute.
and we're going to come out towards the uh, coastline right here and just make a straight into final. Got our speed good and up. Almost in the red zone there a little bit. Still got to get down, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, power back here. All the way, let our speed bleed off. Keep our uh, steep descent in. Let's take a look out the front. Do, uh, we'll drop our gear right now. We're within the uh, gear operating range, I think. Get a little bit of drag there. Start getting ourselves slowed up. So first notch of flaps, we need, what, 135, 136 indicated. So let's go ahead and get ourselves slowed up here. Get the nose up a bit. And there's 140. 135, first notch of flaps in. And we need 119. Here we go, full flaps. Once you get the flaps in this thing, man, it just wants to drop. A lot of drag, a lot of drag with those flaps. Let's bring some power up here a little bit. Our oil temp is uh, a little bit low on that descent. Alright, gear is down, flaps down, landing lights on. We are clear to land. Still high, but this looks like, uh, looks like a big long runway. Not a bad landing. Laps up, put some brakes on. Alright, so welcome to uh, Kona Airport. Let's see if we can find a taxiway over here. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. Like I said, if uh, if you like uh, X-Plane or just flight sim videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hit the like button too. That'll help out the channel here. Get the videos a little bit more uh, the viewership. And uh, come along for some flying with me in uh, X-Plane 11. Like I said before, I'll be flying. Uh, I'll be flying this little DA62 here and there, wherever, and uh, flying the Zebo 737 and the uh, 737-900 Ultimate uh, different spots. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do some uh, some Hawaii flying here. Don't know where the GA parking is, but uh, I'm just gonna pull up 
pull out over here. So guys, thanks again for uh, flying along. Hope you enjoyed that little view there. Go ahead and take a look in, uh, online at YouTube and uh, search for that volcano stuff. Pretty interesting stuff. I think we'll just park it right here. This looks like the main terminal, but hey, we're VIPs. Alright, we'll put our brake on, landing light off. Could have got that off before. Position lights off, strobe lights off, and we kill our avionics power here and kill our engine power. There we go. Let's get opened up. Hop on outside. Hope you enjoyed that flight. Till next time, guys. Take care.